I'm back. I'm going to now show you all the conditioners that I use in my hair when I co-wash and when I deep condition and everything. Um, I'm going to start with my two all-time favorites, the only co-washing conditioners that I use, which is the Vital Plus Herbal Organics Conditioner and the VO5 Moisture Milks Strawberries and Cream. This right here is it. This is my conditioner. I used this when I was transitioning and everything, and I love co-washing my hair with that. And I also love this bottle um, because of the pump. It's nice and easy to use in the shower. It's awesome. And when I empty one of these, all I did was take an empty one, and I buy literally like six to seven bottles of this, and I just dump it in one of these. So one of these has the Vital Plus conditioner. The other one has VO5. And I take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a few drops of peppermint oil or rosemary oil and mix it in there and co-wash, and my scalp is good to go. I mean, tingling and clean and everything. And I love, love, love those conditioners for co-washing. This right here, um, I just recently started using the Owing Handmade um, juices and berries, and I really like this stuff. It is it's wonderful. It loosens your, your hair a little bit and kind of gives it a little bit of moisture. It's a good spritz for your hair. It's conditioning. They say you can use it for detangling, but I mostly use it to revive my twist outs when my hair is twisted, and I love this stuff, and the smell is awesome. It smells really good. This right here is a uh, the Alpha G two step protein treatment. If you want a hardcore treatment, this is what I would suggest that you use. Um, it works. It stops your hair from breaking, and you have to be careful when you use it. When you blow dry your hair, it makes your hair really hard, so don't manipulate your hair or touch it while it's in the drying process and you're leaving it on. But once you rinse your hair out, it should be very soft and strong. You can definitely tell the difference when you use it. But also with your hennas, if you do henna treatments, they are both for strengthening as well. And I also use cassia as a strengthening um, herbal treatment, and I love that too. I've used that one time, and I like that. This right here I'm using uh, right now on my twist. This is Lamaze. It's the foaming hair strengthener. And it has a ton of ingredients for it for strengthening the hair and keeping it strong. And I'm using this on my twist right now on my scalp to avoid any breakage or shedding. So hopefully it's doing the job. These are two of my definite favorites, the Aubrey Organics White Camilla and the honey, Honeysuckle Rose. I use one of these mixed with my homemade conditioner or shampoo, but, shea, ugh, shea butter. <laughs> and once I leave that on overnight, you guys, seriously, my hair is nice and soft and easy to manage and detangle in the morning. And I love these two conditioners. These are possibly my two uh, favorite overnight conditioners that I leave in and to detangle my hair with. I love those. This right here, the Silk Elements Mega Heat Protecting Spray. I use this when I blow dry my hair, and I've only blow dried my hair twice. And it, it did the job. I mean, it, it kept my hair from heat damage. I didn't have any heat damage. It made it soft. Um, but I don't like to blow dry my hair often, so I, I don't know. But it, it's a pretty good product. They seem to get the job done. And then the oh-so-famous, infamous, Kinky Curly, Not Today, and Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I have not used those yet, but, I mean, I, I get mixed reviews on them, so I will just have to try them myself and see how they work out. I honestly don't know, but I've, I've heard mixed reviews on it. More good than bad, so I want to see how it works for me. I am not a um, wash-and-go person, so I want to try to start wash-and-goes now that my hair is a little longer. So we'll see how those work out. These are at Desert Essence Organics, and I have them in the green apple ginger, the coconut conditioner, and then this is the Italian red grape conditioner. And I actually, I love the coconut is my favorite, the best for um, conditioning, and I may mix some of that in my overnight deep conditioning as well. But they all seem to do pretty good, but like I said, that my favorite is the coconut conditioner, but these are really good conditioners for your hair, and the ingredients is all organic for your hair. This is my second favorite, love the Giovanni conditioners. I have the Smoothest Silk Deeper Moisture Conditioner, um, the Hair Reconstructor for damaged or dry, critically dry damaged hair. 
it's really good. And then this is my leave-in. I use this um, whenever I'm done detangling, rinsing it out, and I'm ready to style my hair. This is my leave-in that I uh, use. And I love Giovanni products. I absolutely love it. And it, it does, it's very, very light, so a little goes a long way. And that's also an option that I use as overnight conditioning. These two right here I'll mix in my homemade shea butter. So that is all of my oils and shea butter, conditioners, and everything that you see here. And when I come back to you, I am going to show you a few of my hair accessories and some of my other things that I use for my hair and talk to you a little bit more to you. So I'll see you later.